Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm bringing you some Halo 5 Free Frog gameplay from the HCS playlist, which is basically MLG FFA. So I finally got my Champ 1. Well, I got it in the beginning of the month, but I'm just making a video for it now. I do apologize that, like, my shot, it looks like I'm not hitting, but I actually am. That's just how. Halo 5 theater is so I guess that's just like I think the Halo 5 theater is broken or something and they never just ended up fixing it so this probably will be my only time probably ever making a video with Halo 5 gameplay this was the first time I had ever even like saved gameplay but in this game I matched a pro Munoz I matched a lot of pros and I wouldn't be surprised if I also matched pros who made alt accounts to play this playlist on but let me give a little backstory first so basically I was playing backwards compatible on Halo 3 Pro yeah ever since it came out which probably was what like five six seven months ago maybe like five six months we'll just say five six and I started playing it the first day and I had a fresh account because I had made a new account for MCC because I had sold my old MCC account. So basically I started off as as a level one and I just started playing Lone Wolves and I ended up getting my Lone Wolves 50 with a perfect record. Probably had like 10, 20 wins on my 50 as well. Before I finally lost my first game in Lone Wolves, and I did have I did have losses uh, overall because I played like with my friends. I played like doubles and Slayer, and there were a lot of modders in Slayer, like threes. When I was like running threes, we matched a lot of modders, and there's cheaters and team doubles as well. But really, on my way to my Lone Wolves 50, I basically matched like it was literally like the same people. Like, even when I was, like, a level 10, I was matching people that I ended up matching when I was a level 50. And the game was pretty fun. Like, I say, like, the level of competition. It was it was good because uh, a lot of people, they came back. There's even, like, pros that came back. I remember there's a game we played, uh, Trippy. He's a, he used to be a matchmaking person in Halo 3 and MCC, but... He became a pro in Halo 5, smashed him in doubles, ended up beating him. Matched another person too, but honestly, I don't know uh, what the guy's gamer tag was. I completely forgot. I think it was maybe like Renegade or something, but I'm not too sure. We ended up beating him as well. But there's just like a lot of good people you were matching when it first became backwards compatible, even in like Lone Wolves. The level of competition was pretty high. You'd, you'd have a lot of games where it would just be like straight 50s in the game. And they were like real sweaty games. But after a while, it kind of just died out because you always just match like modders or just like booters. Even in Lone Wolves, there, there were still boosters. Like honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to this day if there's still people that are boosting, modding, or whatever. Well, I think modder is always going to be in H3, but... Yeah, I mean, basically, like, I think... I mean, I wouldn't say the like Halo 3 backwards would be popping right now, but it definitely would still have more of a population, but those guys just made everyone go away, and that's kind of what happened to me as well, but... I mean, like, I was playing since the first day, and I still need to get used to uh, Halo 3 backwards, and once I got used to it, I definitely can say, like, I never really lost games in Lonos, and Lonos was the only playlist I played. I probably had, like, 1350 XP, probably, like, 30 losses, and I honestly would say I probably had, like, 10 losses in Slayer max. And all my other losses were like, cause I got cheated or I lost like a game of like oddball. I say oddball and lone wolves is probably the worst. It honestly takes no skill. It's just like, it's kind of just like all luck. But I mean, basically like after a while when I got used to it, I was just winning like every single game and it just wasn't really fun anymore. 
there was a couple of people I'd match who like give me a challenge. One guy who was like, we had some really sweaty games was B11. Honestly, would say like, out of like everyone I matched, if we're counting Slayer only, I think I'm up on like almost every single person. And the only other person who's like close to me is B11, and I think I'm only up on that guy by like one or two games. But that's only if we're counting Slayer. Like if we're counting Objective and like King of the Hill, that guy's up on me by a good amount of games, but. There's like really no one else who like really came close to just being like beating me more times than I've beaten them. And just after a while, I just got bored of it. And I was just like, I just don't even want to play this no more. It just wasn't fun. And I mean, I still had to deal with people who were boosting. Still had to deal with modders. I also had this one guy, I don't know, I guess like. I got like I had like a stalker there's this guy he'd always just try to match me and he'd always just try to vote objective and he'd just go for me like he wouldn't even go for the win and like this guy did that constantly it was this guy his name is like OMG it's Nico or something like that and then a guy was like from Mexico but I don't know I guess like I guess he didn't like how I played or something so like he made it his goal to basically just try to make me lose but I mean, honestly, I would say, like, he really didn't, like, accomplish much out of trying to do that because maybe he made me lose, like, one or two games. But other than that, like, the other, like, hundred games I played him, I ended up winning. But, yeah, I mean, that was kind of was kind of a weird situation. But um, my last game that I played of Halo 3 Backwards, I matched a modder and I was winning. I got hit offline. I'm just like, dude, I'm not even going to play this no more. And like also just those people who before they would give me a challenge or a little bit of a challenge, a lot of them they just stopped playing. I was just winning every single game. It honestly just wasn't honestly just wasn't fun just being the best Lone Wolf player on Halo 3 backwards. Like even the fifties I would match, like they wouldn't even get like ten kills. Literally an average game would be me winning like twenty five to eight or twenty five to ten. People wouldn't even get double digit kills like literally majority of the games probably like every like 50 games of slayer i played l maybe like it would be like three four games someone got over 10 kills so it just got boring for me so basically i went back on to halo 5 and basically uh i saw that hcs ffa was out so me playing backwards compatible it definitely messed me up because like the graphics and like if you've ever played backwards compatible 360 halo 3 and then you've tried playing mcc the games are like they're s same games as in like you know it's like the same maps and stuff like if you're playing halo 3 but just like the movement like throwing nades and shooting it's just completely different so it kind of like really just screwed me up like I went back to MCC I played a game and it just felt so weird and I actually kind of just regretted going back to backwards because I had to get used to MCC again so I probably just I was playing MCC probably for like a week trying to get used to the game again and then I went on to Halo 5 and I saw that they had an ACS playlist so I'm just like oh you know let me just let me just try this playlist out. I had re I had gotten a champ one before in FFA and that was when in regular FFA when they had added HCS for like a month. I don't think they ever added after that, but that was the time that I had actually gotten my champ one in free for all. And I I've also gotten a champ one in doubles. So basically those two playlists I had gotten a champ one. And so basically last month I was playing um HCS free for all literally my second okay my first game back i think i played kratos or munos it was one or the other i don't know who it was i'd probably end up losing by like two kills and then my next game it was either my second or third game i ended up matching a pro respectful and i actually ended up beating respectful surprisingly but i mean at the same time i was still playing free for all you know so like even though i did take a, I took a huge break from halo 5 probably like five six months literally like i was playing halo 5 and then i just went to backwards compatible i uninstalled halo 5 and then i installed it again so I just played I, honestly i probably played like last season i probably played like 
good maybe like 40 45 games max like i wasn't you know like i didn't like take the playlist really that serious and i actually ended up playing on my main too i think one game i ended up matching the champ two guy that season i ended up beating him as well and basically just this season it reset i didn't think it was gonna reset but um it did last season i just gave up because i think what was my record it was maybe like 20 for 25 20 for 27 or something and literally like four or five games i got a tie and if you get a tie like you get the win csr wise but record wise you don't get a win and honestly i didn't want to really mess up my record on my main account so i was just like screw it you know i'm not gonna um mess it up but basically i just grinded like i would say for two days i stayed up 24 hours like one day i stayed up 24 hours i slept i woke up and i just grinded again honestly uh i probably wouldn't do that again honestly like i'm not even too big on halo 5 in the first place i just wanted to like challenge myself in a sense to see if i could get to champ one i definitely wouldn't say it was a struggle it was just kind of a lot of playing obviously i was matching the most sweatiest people on halo 5 i don't really even play halo 5 honestly I would say i have like 1400 games played max of halo 5 and a lot of that is just social like if we're just counting like sweaty matchmaking probably like 800 games like max so i was matching like pros i was matching people who have like 100,000 200,000 kills who have like 10,000 games played and here i am with only my like 1400 games played you know so i definitely had a disadvantage um like the shot registration in this playlist is weird because they have like heavy aim and i think like your shot depends on the host so like if the host is bad like your sensitivity is gonna be slow or something like that and then like if the host is good your sensitivity like you're gonna be able to like aim faster well that's what i heard at least but like de definitely like if if the connection is bad in hcs then the connection is just like it's just gonna be hard for you to win basically and that definitely happened a lot for me in h5 i can only search on balanced or focused actually no i can't even search on focus if i search focused or expanded the connection is so bad for me i don't know if that is just my connection but that's just how it is in halo 5 so literally like i was at a disadvantage because a lot of the top people they search um focused so they can match higher ranks but for me i had to just match anyone because every time i search focused i literally lost like every game i think my record was what like a hundred for 130 or something honestly i don't know I, i'd have to take a look at the picture again but it was like i definitely wouldn't say i really had fun there was a lot of times i just rage like there was just one day where i lost a game because i was searching on focused and i was just like screw this i'm not getting i'm not going for my champ one and then like the next day i woke up i'm like all right you know let's get to champ one out of like everyone i played i'd say like one guy who looked like he was just next level was probably the pro munos that guy just absolutely wrecked me probably by like eight to ten kills for a lot of people that's probably not a lot but for me honestly don't remember many games losing by that many kills usually it was just like i lost by like a couple kills or something but that guy definitely was like next level but also at the same time for a while i've been playing with a taped up left bumper and like sometimes i'll jump and it doesn't jump for me but i had a new controller like that i had bought but i never used the controller like i honestly wanted to wait till like halo 6 to open it but i was just like i don't know if it was just he was really good or i just had like a huge disadvantage but i opened up the controller i started playing and i definitely can say like out of those 30 losses i lost a good amount just trying to get used to my controller but even then a record of like 100 for 130 is amazing because majority of people they have more losses than they have wins especially because i mean i'm matching the same level of people every game and ffa in this game it doesn't really take skill 
it's mainly just like luck but also at the same time you got to be in the right place at the right time and you definitely gotta um time power weapons there there's so many games where i was timing power weapons and i got like the last overshield or the last camo and basically you know that made me end up winning the game but for now, um, I uninstalled Halo 5. I probably will never play it again because a new update is coming on MCC. I mean, I wanted to make this video when I got it, like when I got the Champ 1, but I did make it. I guess like my audio was messed up and I wasn't using my microphone and uh, my microphone, it doesn't work on my other computer. So I had to try my microphone out on a different computer. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll probably have some more gameplay in the future. I mean, I'm probably not going to be really that consistent on uploading because that's not really my goal. And I mean, I kind of just do these uploads for fun. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.